Good morning. Apple is once again pushing the boundaries of wearable technology. The company just unveiled a new Apple Watch feature designed to detect high blood pressure, aiming to help users stay on top of their cardiovascular health. Apple has long added health, heart health features to its watches, including alerts for arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation. I've had one forever. The company says this new feature will notify users that the watch detects patterns consistent with hypertension over a 30-day period. According to Apple Vice President of Health, Sumbul Desai, the watch analyzes how blood vessels respond to each heartbeat using a machine learning algorithm developed from data on over 100,000 people. While it won't catch every instance of high blood pressure, Apple expects to alert more than 1 million users in the first year. Experts are cautiously optimistic. Dr. Sanket Druva, a cardiologist at UCSF, says the feature is exciting but raises questions about accuracy and proper measurement conditions, like being at rest for several minutes before readings. False reassurance could be risky, while false positives could cause anxiety or unnecessary healthcare visits. Dr. Rowan Kira from Yale adds that the feature could identify hypertension in younger users who may not regularly visit a doctor, highlighting a potential public health benefit. Apple plans to roll out the feature via a software update this month for the Watch Series 9 and later, and the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and later, depending on FDA clearance. The release comes as other wearables like Whoop and Actia are exploring blood pressure monitoring, through regulatory, though regulatory clearance has been a key differentiator. Apple's entry may spur competition and potentially patent disputes as seen with the previous features like the blood oxygen tracking. In summary, Apple is leveraging its massive user base and advanced sensors to bring blood pressure awareness to the wrist. While the technology isn't perfect, it may, be, it may help users identify risk earlier and prompt timely medical follow-up. For viewers, the takeaway is this. Wearable tech continues to merge convenience with preventative health, but clinical confirmation and professional guidance remains essential. That's the latest on Apple's health innovations. I'm Vic Sinise, and you've been watching Euronurse News. Hey, clinicians, meet your new AI assistant, Doximity GPT. Now delivers instant answers, peer-reviewed drug info, and access to over 2,000 journals, all in one HIPAA-compliant platform. Find the answers you need faster and smarter. If you're interested, watch the full report on your own nurse news tomorrow. Did you ever wonder if you can shower with a catheter? Hmm. Well, I've got the answers, and I'm going to and the truth may surprise you. And if you want to find out more, tune in on Saturday to europatient.com at 10:30 a.m. Or check it out anytime you want at europatient.com after this Saturday, but this Saturday. I'm Vic Sadiz. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We and appreciate all you do for us. Wake up, tune in, it's time.